friends, and thank you for joining Coffee Chat with Shelly. I'm so excited to be here with you today to encourage us all to live happier, more creative lives as we get older. We want to make our act two better than ever. Thank you so much for joining us for our April Coffee Chat. Today joining me is Debbie Lilly, and she's from East Texas, and y'all, she is a world traveler. Hey, Debbie, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Hello, it is so good to be here and so good to see you and chat with you. Yes, yes, yes. Debbie and I were classmates and we graduated from White House High School in 1982 and we reconnected on Facebook. So it is so good to talk to you. Yeah. So Debbie has a blog called Travel and Tell. She and her husband, Bud, are world travelers. And Debbie, I was looking at your blog earlier and you and Bud have been everywhere. How did you guys decide to start traveling the world? It just happened. I mean, we had raised our kids and we started traveling a little bit and a little bit more. We, it just kind of evolved into uh, something we'd love to do together. And the more we traveled, the more we wanted to travel, the more uh, places that we added to our bucket list, our travel bucket list. So um, we, we've just kept traveling and, and we still have a long bucket list. So we plan on continuing this. <laughs> Wow, that's so wonderful. So I asked you earlier, how many countries and states have you guys been to? Were you were you able to get that information for me? Were you able to count it up? I, I did. And um, we have been to like 35 of the U.S. states. And then um, we've been to about 19 countries, actually. We did a long, not a long tour, but we did a a big sweeping tour in Italy uh, a few years back before COVID. And it was, um, you know, we were able to check off about 10 countries on, on that particular trip. So yeah, we've, um, we've just been adding them up slowly. That that's amazing. And I love it. I love it. So what, what motivates you guys to live your creative lives? Well, I mean, it beats the alternative, right? right. <laughs> I, I think that you would rather have um, a say in life. I mean, you want to create your your own life. You don't want it to just happen to you. You need to make life happen. So um, I, I love that quote that's like, um, create a life that you don't need a vacation from. Um. So I mean, that's just, that's kind of what motivates us is just, we, we want to like kind of have a say in this and not just sit back and have things happen to us. And um, we may not like <laughs> what comes our way. So we kind of want to steer it ourselves a little bit. Yeah, that's great. That's great. That, that was a great, I love the quote. I love the quote. So your hobbies are a bit unusual. Can you discuss those? Well, um, I, I guess everybody doesn't travel around and write about it. So I guess that's kind of unusual. It just, when the idea came to us, um, actually Instagram just helped us out a lot. You know, <laughs> if you ever mentioned something, then you have all that in your feed. So immediately things started popping up in my feed about how to start and write a blog and, um, you know, how to create your travel blog and, you know, what to do with it and all that. So I really did just start taking some online courses and figuring out how to build my website and build um, the content and just, you know, really reached out to experts that had been doing it and that had its experience in it. And um, anyway, here we are. <laughs> Wow. Many, yeah. many, many blog posts later. Yes. Yes. It's probably like 90 or so. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I was looking at them this morning. It, it's, it's amazing. 
then you probably could write a travel book with pictures and everything. I think you should add that to your bucket list. Okay. In my spare time. Yeah. <laughs> in your spare time, that's right. That's right. That's right. So how do you get out of your comfort zone and go to all of these different places? Um, I think once you start going, then um, you just you just realize you can. When we went to Europe, like we we had never been to Europe. And like I said, we knocked out a lot of countries. So I had to figure out a lot of things like uh, getting around in these mm -hmm. places, uh, the trains and, you know, planes over there and just just a whole lot of things I had to figure out. We didn't speak the language of most of the places that we were going to, but you'd be surprised. Most people speak English. Mm -hmm. You just research, basically. I planned a whole lot of things before we went uh, just because I researched a lot of things. So um, just like tours and um, the travel in between, um, you know, obviously all your hotel reservations and things like that. But um mm -hmm. Yeah, I think once you do it, you realize you can and you just build on it. You know, you just, it's just piece by piece. You just put it together. It's like a big puzzle and you just put it together. I, I love that. I love that. Did I see you guys backpacking? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we were, we were doing that trip pretty quickly and we, um, we didn't want to have a lot of luggage. Like, you know, every time you land somewhere before you could check into your hotel, you don't want to be just like, you know, spending time on the streets, pushing big old suitcases. So mm -hmm. we actually just planned it to where we both had a backpack and that's all we had. I looked up a couple places we could do laundry in between, which was another fun thing to figure out uh, what those directions <laughs> in Italian mint and how to work the, the <laughs> machines and the laundromat. But um, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was a fun experience. And, and, and you can totally do that. I mean, we don't need all of that, that we always pack. I mean, we always overpack. So um, it, it can be done. We, we did, we just backpacked. That is, that is awesome. I just, I just love the freedom of it. Yes. Yes. It, it, really, it really does free you up. You're exactly right. I mean, a lot of people just run around with backpacks. So I was hoping we didn't look so touristy, but, um, <laughs> but I'm sure we did. <laughs> no, exactly. 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 I love that. I, I really, really love that. So what advice or encouragement would you give others to get out of their comfort zone and live their creative lives? I would say figure out what you're um, passionate about. I mean, everybody has interests and hobbies and whatever you're passionate about and um, and just build on that. Research as much as you can. Uh, follow experts that are doing what you would like to be doing. You can pick up on ideas. Maybe you didn't even think of um this or that thing that you could actually do with your hobby or your passion and um, make it into something that that you can be proud of and that you feel like that's giving you a purpose and a sense of accomplishment. So, yeah, I would say just just delve into it. You know, it's just um, it's just out there waiting for you, probably. Yes, yes, yes. And what about um, traveling the United States? We have so many amazing, beautiful places here in the U.S. You could you could never leave the U.S. and and be fulfilled traveling. Um, like I said, we've we've done a number of the states, but we still have states that we haven't done, and that's that's definitely a goal to do every single one of them, all the territories. Like you know, just complete it. Um, yes. So. There's there's incredible places. I like to go to new places. We love to go to new places, but there are some places that I love to go back to. Um, we have been to, or I have, because sometimes it's with bad, sometimes it's with my friends. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, you know, I just love to travel, so call me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like the Northeast, 
Like I love to go to the Northeast in the fall, like oh, I saw that. Vermont and Maine and just, you know, New Hampshire. We have a friend in New Hampshire, Ken, our friend um, oh, he's yes. a, oh my with gosh. all his restaurants. So um, I need to go back because I've only, I've only seen two of them. I've eaten at one yeah. and, and visited yeah. another, but yeah, so I'm ready to go back and eat. He has a, a new one or two now. So, wow. yeah, I just, it's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. It's just absolutely stunning. I mean, you're just flying in and it's so pretty. And I, I just can't get enough of that. I just feel like I have to go every year. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I saw your pictures and it was just amazing. And I can't wait to share them with our viewers because they were just simply beautiful. And that is on my bucket list. I want to ride the train up the East Coast like yeah. in September, yeah. October when the leaves change. Yes, yes. It's it's incredible. Yeah. You'll love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I know I will. I know I will. I love your pictures. I was living through you vicariously through you <laughs> and your pictures. Um, so yeah. what would you say is your favorite? Is that that's your favorite place? What about internationally? What is um, your favorite? That, that's one of my favorite places. I mean, there's okay. Okay. A, lot of, a lot of great places in the U.S., but um, internationally, I mean, that's hard because they're they're also different um yeah. i mean we went to greece and we loved greece um on the other end of the spectrum i guess um like we loved rome and vatican city like yeah. that was incredible um scotland i mean not scotland we haven't been to scotland scotland's on the bucket list okay, okay. Um, ireland, ireland. um i like london london was a great place that we didn't get to spend enough time in. So I definitely want to go back to London. Um, you know, it's easy, but they speak our language. <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. That's right. And, yeah. um, and it's just, it's just a, a great place. Like we enjoyed the the short time that we were there, but um, so, so many awesome places. Yeah. 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 Well, I think that a lot of us have to get over our fears and if we could just get over our fears, then that would help us get out of our comfort zone also. I think that's a big issue, especially as you get older. But that's something that we can't let stop us. No, no. We have to just keep on going, don't we? Like we we don't want to we don't ever want to be old. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We keep going like we're young. <laughs> exactly. Especially when you guys were backpacking. I thought that was really cool really yeah, cool. well that served the purpose too so that that worked out well exactly exactly so philip and i uh probably about once donovan our son moved off we decided that we were going to get backpacks and we have carry-ons and so that is how we travel for our short trips we have our backpacks and our carry-on and we get to the airport and so that's very freeing too you know, yeah. like you said, you only pack what you need and you are footloose and fancy free. And that's how I like to be. <laughs> yes. And you don't have to wait for your luggage to get on the carousel and hope it made it on the carousel. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. You yeah. you have it with you. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. I've noticed y'all been traveling a lot too. Isn't it fun? It's so really, fun? Just it go explore. Really is. Yes, yes, yes. Our next trip is Iowa. And so we're going to go and check out our son in Iowa with his new wife. And so we're, we're, pre we're pretty excited. Yeah. Yay. That's awesome. Yeah. We're looking forward to it. Else you, you want to talk about a little bit about the national parks? Because a lot of times people don't think about the national parks. So, um, so let me ask you that question. Okay, so one of our favorite trips that we did, we um, went with uh, Bud's cousin and his wife, and we went to Utah, and we did all five of the national parks there. It's, it's called the Mighty Five, mm -hmm. and we did some state parks and, and some other things in between, but that was such an incredible trip. It's Utah is amazing. I mean, it's 
you know, absolutely a far cry from East Texas. You know, it, I mean, the terrain <laughs> doesn't look anything like around here. It's it's just so fascinating to me. The hoodoos and all of the arches and and we did you know hikes and it was great. It was when they set aside spaces for national parks. I mean. Mm -hmm. They they usually are spot on. Yellowstone is one of my favorite places yes. in the Northeast. And yeah. like yeah. just wherever, wherever you go, there's there's unique um things to each of the of the national parks. So we obviously haven't been to all of them. And I know a lot of people that's their goal is to hit every national park in the US. Mm -hmm. Um Maybe we'll do that after we hit every state. <laughs> okay. We're just every state first. So, so we haven't hit all the national parks, but um, but we've thoroughly enjoyed the ones we've been to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to share the pictures. I noticed your maps in the back. So those are the um, the yeah, there's a international map, and then there's a, a map of the United States. So are those the states that you guys have have visited? On your map, in the United States one, the um ones that I've scratched off the ones that we've gone to, and um, okay, the okay. international map, um, it's I can't <laughs> I mean my head enough, but anyway, it's not scratched off. But uh -huh. um, anyway, it's I still like to look at it. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know. Where are we going to go to next? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And it's real hard. Like I did an, a mission trip to Africa. Yes. Um, Let's talk about summer. that. Okay. Last summer we went to Africa. Well, we went to Zambia, but Africa is huge. Like there's so many other places that I would love to go in Africa. So I feel like scratching off on my international map, um, it's just going to be little spots anyway. I don't want to scratch off whole you know, whole countries on that. So, because there's so many places I want to go. Um, so the, um, the mission trip was just such a phenomenal trip. It was, it was different, you know, than just going and sightseeing. Um, we were so immersed with the people and they are so welcoming. They are, they're so sweet. The kids are precious yeah. There's not, um, there's not the entitlement and the bickering and <laughs> all of those fun kind of things. I mean, they're just, they're just sweet. Yeah. Um, we, and you, you know, obviously you see a lot that's heartbreaking, yeah. um, but, but the people are so happy, you know, and it was, it was a great experience. That's awesome. Loved that's it. Awesome. That's awesome. Well, I, that's beautiful, and I, I can't wait to share the pictures of that um, of that trip. Also, and they'll they'll sarcastically tell me, you know, as I'm leaving on a trip, be sure to take some pictures. Like I'm not going to take a million pictures. <laughs> well, I know they appreciate those pictures. <laughs> They do know I take them, so they must be looking. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, let me tell you, I I have enjoyed um, seeing the pictures, and I um, it's just so amazing. And I just love your your story um, of how you and your husband and your friends travel. I think it's just beautiful because we all really need to live creative lives. And when I say creative lives, I mean, trying new things, yeah. going new places, meeting new people. It doesn't mean that you have to be an artist or something, but you're just Certainly. finding creative ways to live. Yeah. And, and the I best think, part, oh, I'm sorry. The best part about what? traveling is that you get to see all the creation, you know, and it points back to our creator. Exactly. I love that. Yes, yes, yes. He was the first creator. Exactly. I'm doing a Bible study and it reminds us that he was our first creator and he wants us to be creative. So he doesn't want us, like you said, 
letting our life just, you know, just go by, we need to make a point to live creative lives and be happy. Yeah. Enjoy it. Enjoy what he's created for us. Yeah. I think that's a beautiful, beautiful sentiment. And so I think we can close. All right. It's been so fun. It's been so fun yeah. to chat with you. Yes. It, it's, I appreciate you so much coming on to talk to us about your creative life and just encourage us to get out of our comfort zone and backpack through Europe. <laughs> I'll just backpack to a national park. Okay. Yeah. So just backpack or just go through your state. Like there, we, we just love traveling yeah. to Texas too. Like, and there's so many places we just go back to. So, you know, you can, you can go on short trips and still have lots of fun and you can go back to the same places and, and it can be a whole different trip because there's just so many different things to do everywhere. So just get out there and enjoy it. That's right. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us and I will see you on Facebook. Sounds great. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, I hope that you enjoyed our coffee chat today. We want you to live creative, healthy, and happy lives. If you enjoyed this chat today, please like and subscribe to Shelly's Creative Life. Until our next chat, stay creative.